Hey guys, quick video today to talk about metrics on social media. Um, and I want to touch on something that's come up a couple of times um, for myself and my company over the last week, and that is impressions. Now, the one thing I really want to stress is there are a lot of marketing agencies out there that do what we do, um, and that's awesome. But there's a lot of companies out there that are selling the wrong strategy. Now, what I mean by that is there are a lot of companies that put a lot of emphasis on impressions. Now, I know the lingo that, that I know the lingo gets lost a lot um, in this space. So I want to break social media down to let's say print advertising deals because uh, I think that'll be a lot easier for people to follow and try and uh, I suppose understand my my approach with with this. A lot of the companies out there are selling based on impressions. All right. So what impressions are, sorry, I'm just reading a text message. What impressions are is basically how many um, DLs you had printed. All right. Now I'm going to tell you a quick story. I, when I was starting out and I was a, a PA and I first moved to Sydney uh, and I'm not proud of this, but, you know, it happened and I'm sure it still happens. Um, I was working for a senior agent. I was in the southeast of Sydney uh, around Maroubra at the time. And it was the start of summer. It was a beautiful day. It was afternoon. Um, and I had a thousand deals to drop. Now, how many of those thousand deals do you think actually got dropped? Well, they got dropped in the bin, half of them. I did do, I did do a fair whack to be, to be fair, but that's likened to impressions. It's how many were created. So an impression is how many ads are created and distributed, right? So with a DL, we had a thousand that were created and they were distributed by me getting in the car and going out there with them. But half of them ended up in the bin. So, you know, that, that, that's a waste. What do I focus on and what I want you guys to focus on are two things, is your, uh, your reach and your clicks. So what that means is your reach is out of those 1,000 DLs, how many made it from my car into the letterbox, okay? So that's technically a reach um, because it's shown up. People have actually seen it, okay? Whether or not they've thrown it in the bin versus, you know, keep scrolling past you on Instagram, they've still seen it. They've still seen your name and your brand. A click-through, when I talk about, you know, you had 100 and 75 clicks or something like that. That's how many people have taken that DL out of the letterbox and taken it inside to have a look at it in more detail. You know, check out the description and the open home times or put it up on the fridge because they want to go and have a look at that one on Saturday. So that's the difference with the three. So let's just go over it one more time. Impressions is how many ads were created. So how many DLs were created. Reach is how many went into a letterbox um, versus how many seen it on the screen and kept scrolling. And a click is how many people saw it in the letterbox, pulled it out and took it inside to have a look at. So that's how many people have seen the content on your Instagram, have clicked or Facebook, wherever, have clicked the link and gone to your website for either more information on the property or the profile, the agent's profile. Guys, I'm seeing a lot of companies out there that are selling ads based on impressions. And I'm sorry, but... It, you may as well go and get your money, take it out the ATM and set a match to it because impressions don't do anything. Yes, yeah, she can have a thousand printed, but if a thousand are not going in to a letterbox, what's the point of having it? Um, you've also got to look at, I'm seeing some cases where impressions are at, you know, 150,000 impressions. So 150 ads have gone out and the reach has only been like two and a half thousand. So it's like, okay, you're either you're not hitting the right people um, or it's just not breaking through. So what is the point of showing it to 130,000 people and it's only showing up on two and a half thousand people's screens? It's just showing that the cookie cutter approach to social media marketing does not work. That's why we are bespoke. Every client is treated individually um, and every campaign is treated individually. Yes, we do have our automated um, formats, um, but, but yeah, that, that, that's how it rolls. So guys, I just wanted to bring that one to your attention because I have had a couple of people talk about impressions and company selling impressions over the last couple of days. Um, I hope that adds some value. I hope you do, if you are being sold on impressions, I'm always here if you want to have a chat. 
um, and you know, explain in more detail the, the benefits and, and all that kind of thing as to why you should be looking at other metrics. And it's the other metrics that you want to be looking at. You want to be making sure that your reach is up, your reach is continually uh, growing, not your impressions. Impressions don't mean anything. You want to make sure your reach is growing and your click-through rates are remaining stable. So, guys, um, I hope that was as simple as I could uh, explain it and, and yeah, uh, you know, align it with uh, Prince print marketing explanations. I hope that uh, you can see how we, we married the two. Um, enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Cheers, guys.